how would you like to be a part of providing opportunities to experience culture and English language through a welcoming and unique community? Finbrit could be just a place for you. You can participate in the conversation during the whole broadcast by sending us messages through chat. You can find that chat from our website, Facebook page and YouTube channel right next to the stream. And if you are participating to the Talent Boost event, you can use the chat in that event. And you can also send us feedback through these chats. And participating from Finbrit, we have Ulla Peg and Saana Kallioinen. But before we begin the discussion, let's start uh, by watching a brief video about Finbrit. This video gave us a brief look at Finbrit, but uh, could you tell us with your own words, uh, what kind of an organization is Finbrit? Yes, um, we are a non-profit, inclusive and diverse, and at the same time, we're professional. Those would be my quick uh, description. What kind of services do you have and where are you located? Yes, we're located in Helsinki, in the center of Helsinki. We have a tram stop and bus stop right in front of us. And we offer um, English language testing, so the IELTS and Cambridge tests, um, and then English lessons uh, and social events in English. And how much personnel do you have? That's a good question. <laughs> we have three people at the office. Uh, we have about seven examiners, about seven teachers, and then the invigilator team that we're now looking for um, more members. Um, that's about 15 to 20, depending on the situation. And uh, who are your clients? Uh, that varies per product. So um, the language testing uh, is usually taken by students and professionals who want to either study abroad or study in English um, or go abroad. Um, and the lessons are often um, attended by professionals here in Helsinki. And how many employees are you looking for and to which positions? At the moment, we're looking for one to three invigilators, test invigilators. Um, and that's the position that we're, we're looking for people in at the moment. What is the uh, job description for the test invigilators? Um, the test invigilator is present at the language test session and their job is basically to uh, welcome people, uh, welcome the test takers to the session, um, to manage uh, the setup and, and how they come in and then um, sort of Invigilate is the word or proctor in US English, where you sort of monitor the test situation that nobody's cheating, for example, etc. And where are these jobs located? They're all here in Helsinki, in the center of Helsinki, in Punavuori. Sana, how long have you worked for Finnebrit? Uh, I've worked here for almost seven years. In February, it'll be seven years. Uh, what kind of position have you had during those years? Uh, I started out as a normal invigilator and then I worked up to be a, um, well, someone who reads the instructions to the candidates and now I work as a supervisor of the invigilation team and I've also been working on uh, our project for the history project. It's our 95th anniversary next year so I'm coordinating all of the events and historical archiving and things that are happening with that. And how did you like working as a test invigilator? I enjoy it very much. I mean, I wouldn't have been here for seven years if I didn't. And it's a great way to meet people and nice to talk to people from all different backgrounds. And we have a great team here, so it's always fun to come to work. Ulla, what sort of requirements do you have for applicants when it comes to uh, education and uh, work experience? Hmm. 
Um, education is not so important, even though many of our test invigilators are university students or professionals, so often they do have university degrees. Um, however, it is more important that you're proactive, systematic, you're interested in English language, you have good command of English, and then obviously sort of customer service skills. Are there any other requirements or beneficial skills that you would value from the applicant? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's, it continues on the line of what kind of a person you are. So um, flexibility regarding um, work hours is very important. Um, and then this is a part-time job, so it would be good if you know you had something else in addition to this, like studies or whatever, so that you can flexibly combine the work and, for example, studies or other work. How about other language skills? Would those be beneficial for the applicant? Um, of course, they're always beneficial, but um, for example, uh, command of Finnish or Swedish is not necessary at all. All the documentation and instructions and the work is carried out in English. How about the orientation? How does that work in this job? Hmm. Um, there is a two to three hour training that takes place at the beginning um, and then after um, one, the invigilator when hired actually attends a test session and sort of learns on the job, if you like, as an extra person in that session. So gets to participate a test event before they actually take charge. Sana, what kind of a background do you have and why did you apply to work at Finbrit? Sure. Uh, well, I'm myself half Finnish and half Australian and I grew up in Australia. So combining my love of English and I actually study English, linguistics and literature, this has been a perfect job all throughout my studies. And now, even though I've been working in a professional full-time job for the last five years, it's very easy to combine the two so, and the great people that we work with here. What, you, what would you say has been the most rewarding aspects of your job there at Finbrit? Uh, definitely the flexibility, as Ola mentioned, with the ability to combine it with studies or other work, for example, and the great friends that I've met working through working here at Finbrit. I'm friends with many people who've been on our vigilation team over the years and we're actually very close still. Can you think of any memorable moment that you have experienced there working at Finbrit that you could share with us? Oh, there are so many. Well, the social events is always a good pl place to start. Uh, the Christmas party is wonderful. And if you're an employee, you often get to attend the Christmas party. And there's people from all backgrounds and walks of life, ages, and we always have a great time singing songs, having British Christmas food. And just coming to work, basically, we often start very early on a Saturday morning, so it's nice to see smiling colleagues' faces and everyone's quite happy to be at work. So just mornings like that, having a cup of coffee and having a chat before getting started or a lunch break and that kind of thing. Ulla, has coronavirus somehow affected how you work there at Finbrit? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> um, we have, for example, split test sessions because um, last year we had uh, test sessions where we had 75 or even 100 participants. And of course, with the restrictions, that's no longer possible. Um, so we limited the uh, participants. Um, and then in addition to that, when the mo most recent restrictions came into force, we split the test sessions to further comply with the um, sessions. And of course, we're... Um, paying attention to cleaning, hygiene, advise the test takers when they come in to, you know, monitor their distance, etc. So in, in many ways, yes. And you already mentioned that this job is part-time job, but how about the working hours? Uh, what is the typical amount of working hours and uh, how about the placement of them? Is this a daytime job or an evening job? Mm. Uh, I'll start with the uh, end. <laughs> so this is a daytime job. Um, often on Saturdays, it starts quite early at 7 a.m. even. Um, nowadays, we've also had testing sessions on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. And uh, it varies. I mean, on a normal um, sort of month um, after the after Christmas, I mean, we're currently in our most busy period, if you like, but... Um, after Christmas, it might be that we have 10 to 15 invigilators, each working sort of two to three days a month, uh, and each sort of four to 10 hours a day at a time. 
And how much does one get paid as a test invigilator? There's an hourly um, salary or hourly wage, which is 10, 20 at the moment as a starting salary. Um, when you've stayed for, um, with us for 12 months, um, it goes up um, to 11, 20. And then as Sana here says, I mean, she's doing, for example, the team lead responsibilities, etc. So she gets um, 13 euros per hour. And do you have any extra benefits for your personnel? Um, I think that what Sana already mentioned is the flexibility of the hours and the flexibility to combine it with other things. And then perhaps the international team and the contacts you make there. Many of our invigilators have actually, first of all, gained uh, work experience in Finland. And that's obviously a good thing. And the second thing is um, the sort of networking aspects. Many have found other jobs like in daycare and, and other places in teaching uh, via us. Well, Sana, how has working part-time suited for you? Uh, very well. As when I started here seven years ago, I was mainly studying full-time. And then over the years, I have my studies have lessened in the sense that I haven't had to go every day. So I've been working full-time while combining it with Finbrit, and that's worked very well for me for the past five to six years. And now I'm actually a freelance writer and translator and still combining it well with Finbrit. So very flexibly, very well. And what would you say to whom a part-time job like this would be suited for? Um, as an Ulla mentioned already, someone who is looking for part-time work, either someone perhaps who has young children still at home and just wants to work a couple of days a month, or then a student who has some time and they'd like to earn a bit of extra pocket money, for example. Sana, how would you describe Finbrit as an employer? Um, fair, flexible and fun. And what kind of uh, new co-workers are you hoping to get? People that are happy to happy to learn and happy to talk to other people. And basically, yeah, anyone who's really hardworking and has a sense of fun. And Ulla, what would you say, what kind of per- person is a good applicant to this job? I think a person who's kind and outgoing, um, proactive, systematic in the ways that they work um, and really the background I mean I understand that Sana and I don't particularly look particularly diverse at this point in time but I mean we have people from Hong Kong, Vietnam, Italy, uh, Australia, <laughs> Kenya, Ghana, Vietnam. That's right yeah so uh, the team is really truly international which is a lot of fun. There has been some questions in the chat about when is it when it's possible to start this job. So when would the employment relationship start? Probably in February. I mean, our thinking is to uh, accept the um, sort of uh, applications uh, and then talk to people in mid, uh, mid-January. mid um, And then um, probably the first working sessions would take place in, in February. And how can one apply to these open positions? By going to our website, www.finbrit.fi, and uh, in on every page there's a footer, and on that footer it says work with us. So press that and you're guided to a form and just filling in that form and, and entering your CV there. And when is the deadline for applying? Um, we would like to receive um, applications by 8th of January. However, um, as I perhaps mentioned earlier, our busiest time is now uh, just before Christmas. So if you're not quite ready or don't quite know what you're going to be doing, uh, it is okay to apply via that link anytime throughout the year. And I would say that a good time to apply is perhaps sort of September usually. And where can one get more information about these vacancies and your company? Um, The... Job description, if you like, is on our website again, uh, finbrit.fi. Um, if you go to the very top of the screen, there's a link to About Us, and from there to our team, and from there to Test Invigilators, and, and you can find the uh, descriptions there. 
Uh, Ulla, uh, Finbrit is participating in Talent Boost virtual networking and matchmaking event, a part of which this broadcast also is. Uh, is there something you would uh, like to share with our viewers from Talent Boost? Um, thank you, yes. Um, I mean, we're proud to be um, sort of part of this event, um, but um, also the other companies who are, who are participating. Perhaps um, it's, it's good to ensure that your existing personnel has good English skills um, to welcome international talent and get most out of collaboration. Um, so we're actually offering free of charge, find the flow English discussion uh, sessions in January. So do join in. You can find the link on our company profile. And now at the end, we would like to ask both of you your recommendations, why to apply to Finbrit as a uh, test in which later. Sana, you could start with your recommendations. Um, I think, as although we've already mentioned networking opportunities, the opportunity to meet new people and make new friends, and also we have a lot of fun working in, in our team. And Ulla, why to apply to this job? Um, to promote our values, which are lifelong learning, uh, diversity and inclusiveness. And via our offerings, we do that every day. Thank you, Ulla and Sana, and thank you for watching. A recording of this broadcast will be found later on on our YouTube channel. Uh, good luck with all your all your uh, job searches. We'll, we will be seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you.